Grand Rising. Grand Rising family. What's been going on with, with the sheeple, the people? I've, I talk to the people. I just talk about the sheeple. Uh, I don't know shit. I ain't made a video in a while. Just chilling, man. See what's going on. Uh, nah, Cube. They talking about Cube. But, uh, down with um with Trump and them, you know. Cube, see what what Cube have have been done lately. He just caught that Aboriginal wave and the um, you know, cause the <clears throat> the people who talk about the Aboriginal, the um, Moorish and the Hebrew community all done came together, and it seemed like all the woken ones that came together, or people that who more thinkers, you know. Cause a lot of people ain't woke. We were that's thinkers, you know. But you know that that community right there talk about a lot of shit. Talk about a lot of good history, a lot of um, land masses and all that, and they talk about political stuff too, and uh, you know who from here. You know, people been you know talking about it like. It's just this is the big thing now. It ain't. It's a lot of people ain't no on bullshit no more. It's the big thing, and, and, and Cube done caught that wave, or they sent Cube. They sent Cube, or he caught that wave, you know. And and, and not Cube. <laughs> First he said, "We see a lot of people in for that." That's when you know either they agent or they just finding out some shit. When they say a lot of people, um, um, from here, like, and they, some people come from somewhere else, but a lot of black people from here, I, you know, I think all niggas from here, not, not all people that got melanin, like I know Africans and shit like that, but all the niggas that we know, niggas that we from here, man. It ain't no question to it, but you know when they start like him, Tyreek Nasheed starting to say it. Um, you know, but, but Cube, either he caught the wave and he's starting to learn, you know, but before he even said something about Trump, <laughs> all type of niggas been going for Trump. Like, don't act like, don't, you know, people don't get it twisted and act like when, if Trump win or a lot of niggas start voting for him and y'all people, a lot of niggas vote for Trump, <clears throat> don't act like. You know, it was because Ice Cube came and he changed a lot of minds. I don't know who minds he changed it because his fans, them lost niggas, they mad at him. <laughs> like Cube, you know, Cube made music and shit. He, he wasn't never sweet to me like that. You know, I don't give a fuck. He, um, he like, I, I never liked it too much. I like some Southern Cali rap. You know, I like some Southern Cali rap. But but not too much of it, really, man. I really like Ice Cube and them like that, man. You know, Mac Ten and them niggas. They probably were sweet. Man, I should listen to it more when I'm older. But I like the um, Bay Area rap. I always like the Bay Area rap. You know, that's a whole different. It's down there like a whole different <laughs> country out there, man. You know, the Bay. The Bay is. I looked it up on the map. It's straight across from um, Detroit. To get to San, I looked up how to get to San Francisco in the car one day, and they got it. It's going a straight arrow. You know, it's a, it's a straight path. It's thirty three hours, but you damn near going straight, like it's straight across from us. And then that's why they always say the bay. And Detroit, like cousins, you know, we got a lot of waves. You know, you you hear like just like we listen to Bay Area music up here, or how I grew up on Bay Area, like Nicotina and all them niggas, and you know, Mac Dre and all them like them niggas out there bumping our shit. They they bump Detroit music more than me. You know, I don't even listen to the young Detroit niggas no more. I'm, you know, I can't say they bought more Detroit because I'm deep, but I'm talking about the new shit like Sada Baby and all them. Man, them niggas going crazy. I heard Sada Baby shit. It was on the, the NBA playoffs. <laughs> uh, what song was that? The, uh, 
I forgot he got some shit. This nigga talk crazy over there, bro. <clears throat> but yeah, so don't um back what I was saying. I always leave the subject, <laughs> but back the nigga cute. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, Cube, you saying the right thing, come with a plan, because you were saying that shit, but you learned all that shit, that, you know, the Aboriginal community, nigga, Ben came with that type of shit, talking about that shit, nigga, damn near a year ago, man. <laughs> all that shit, niggas was draining the swamp, <laughs> all that shit, that Cube, he watches that shit, you know? But you know, and I don't think because Ice Cube done went for him, it's gonna be that's why the niggas going for him. Nah, the niggas already was going with Trump. You know, more of them started going when he let that bread fall through, fall out the sky. You know what I mean? But when the niggas was already gonna go for Trump, he won the last time. The fuck, you know. Even though now I, I'm talking carnal right now, cause really I know. They put people in that motherfucker anyway. You know? Just like they broke down the electoral votes and all that shit. All that shit is sham. That shit is some, you know? All that shit is sham. They put a nigga in there anyway, but just because this the talking point and talking about with Trump and all that, you know, I already know. You know, if if I was a voter, that would be the person a nigga would vote for if you got some sense. Shit, but man, them is. In real, you know, real life in this in this most high in this woken, you know, era, we ain't playing no more. What the fuck two 80-year-old ass man gonna do for anybody? Talking about we're gonna protect the country. And, Did, nigga, so bad, you can't do nothing. Man. I'll slap the shit, slap skin off his face. <laughs> Trump, man, come on, man. Niggas is old as hell dying, man. These niggas is great. They do. He could put all that goddamn tan spray on his face and see, you don't know what these people look like. This nigga probably dead. Because pale people don't really live that long, get that old, man. These niggas probably, they probably robots dressed out there acting like they Trump and all that shit, man. You know what I mean? So don't get it twisted. Because anybody that's putting their faith in, in any of that shit, you know what I mean, ain't down with the most high creator. I'm down with the most high creator, man. I'm from America. Yes. And, and yes, I'm the children of Israel. That explains my people. You know what I mean? Shit. If they called us um, more because of our color of who we was, well, no matter where we was at in America, then I'm one of them niggas. Just like I'm, I'm, I'm colored, what they call um, niggas before. Uh, I'm one of the ones they call black just because I be like, man, I'm melanated. I ain't that. When they see me, they call me black. You know what I mean? That's why we need to start changing our terms and make up our terms while we here. Nigga, one of them. I don't fuck what they said. Or how they try to turn tear down nigga. N nigga, one of the coolest words ever, man. Shit. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, this my nigga. What? Nigga? It's he <laughs> be all type of niggas. <laughs> uh, it depends on who talking to you. <laughs> the nigga could work, you know. But just yeah, I ain't made a video in a while. I'm gonna talk some little shit. What been going on? Facebook people, just, man, come on my Facebook, say anything. Yeah, oh, man, people you ain't seen in a while, motherfucker. You ain't even seen. Come on your shit, talking all outside. Nick, Facebook is a trip, man. The people say shit on there they won't say it to you in person. Facebook a trip, man. Just like uh and and why women, why females, you can't say nothing about a female. Like you can make a stat be like, these bum ass niggas need to step it up. You know what I mean? You niggas out here ain't taking care of your kids and y'all bum ass niggas playing video game bullshit. Men, men gonna like it, put loves on it, cause we tired these bum ass niggas. But women gonna, oh yeah, praise it, put fire emojis and loves and, oh God, yeah we um, uh, the the men ain't shit, you know these niggas. Okay, niggas do it all the time. Women do it all day. I can't scroll past what women talking about, nigga. But all in reality, look, 
how these females carrying themselves nowadays. Y'all had all time low. Melanated females, oh man, the ones they call um black. Y'all is black. You know what? Uh, it, people is black, man. Black people, man. The black females, oh, y'all is a trip. Y'all shaking y'all ass, doing ain't halfway taking care of y'all. Kids, fuck a man, y'all ain't shit. Uh, working, uh, working a thousand hours, ain't cooking for your kids, really buying them fast food, you know. Probably buying, even the ones that buy them the fast, precious clothes and the, all the tablets and video games and shit still ain't nurturing them or putting them right into their system, just feeding them anything, feeding them anything off the TV, letting them watch everything, your kids, these little girls, period, oh, period, every word they say, period, pulling that long ass weave, standing a certain kind of way, it's all a brainwashing thing. Y'all not trying to do none of that. Take away no brain. Well, ain't trying to monitor what your kids watch. None of that. But you a good parent and all that. And let a man just say something about that. Like, man, these women got to step it up. Shit, they are here. Oh, ain't not, not one woman going to come on your shit and be like, yeah, you right. Like, shit, I peep it too. These bitches ain't hitting no nothing no more. Like a lot of them ain't. Oh, y'all ain't going to do that. Y'all gonna say, niggas do this, niggas do that too, it be niggas do, do, <laughs> man, why, why the, why every time I say something, it's always something with a nigga doing, like, what type of shit is that, you, you're not a nigga, you're not a male, you, even if niggas do what they doing, so, that's how the world off balance, cause niggas do certain shit, and, and, and females do certain shit. When people gonna get that through their head? And when women gonna when 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 women gonna start checking these females? When is melanated women? Because it's many melanated bright women. But when y'all gonna break that fake ass female code? Like when y'all gonna start cutting into these um young females? Okay, you, you you holding your, if you a melanated woman and you doing the right thing and you woke and you know how we supposed to live and shit, you doing a, a misjust to your people by not telling them, <coughs> by not telling these young females how to carry themselves and, and, and how to stop, you know, stop. All that weave and shit, that shit is terrible. Like, calm down. Okay, niggas do something, but y'all can't do what niggas do and still be a lady. Why is you comparing women to doing what niggas do? Like, niggas ain't been taking care of their kids, man. I had to take care of my my oldest daughter by, her, by myself. When she was a kid, and take her in. And I seen many fathers had to do that. All niggas ain't messed up, so stop trying to compare a, a messed up female to a nigga that you think. Uh, and a lot of y'all don't ran these niggas away. You know? A nigga only gonna be good as his woman, just like a woman gonna be good as her man. But, pff, man, a lot of that, uh, period. I do what a nigga do. I run out of these niggas, do. I'm like these niggas. Too much of that going on. It shouldn't be no deadbeat mothers. I don't give a fuck how many deadbeat fathers it is. It shouldn't be no deadbeat mothers. Because that's not in a in a woman's, you know, it, it wasn't even in women's trade. Women used to have to take care, you know, be down. It's too many, man. And you a deadbeat mother if that's all you teaching your kids. I don't give a fuck if you bought them the PlayStation 6. <clears throat> I don't give a fuck if they Fred Gucci down on Because that, even that's subliminal. Why you... Putting all that on your kids, and you know, you know, and and, and giving them that—that's a um, like a, a self-esteem thing when they ain't got certain shit and all that. Oh, you know, and they came forward and now because you ain't buying it no more, now you done fucked them up. You know, stop glorifying material and all that. That ain't being a good parent. You know. 
going to go get them vaccinated and all that shit. Read up on shit. Like, damn, what was these vaccines about? What, you know, read up on that. You know? But it's not every time I say something or, or, or try, because I, I say something about both genders. I say shit because it just come out, man. You know, I ain't no nigga that be nick, but I, I say certain shit. People always feel some kind of way about the shit I say. You know, I say certain shit, but I ain't directing it to nobody. It just be a little quick message out here. Stop coming on my shit and saying shit, talking about, uh, well, men do this to shit to say that. I don't give a fuck about that. That ain't what I make a post about that if I cared about it. When y'all gonna clean these women up? When one woman gonna step out here and smack one of you? Tired of you? You ain't taking care of your kid? Then? No, y'all want to just smoke Newport cigarettes and say period and pop a Tron bottle. Period. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing. I hate to hear that shit. Period. My daughter's playing with some little girls outside the other day. She told me, why y'all keep saying that? You know? <laughs> period. Like, why y'all keep saying that? <laughs> it's a program. When everybody say the same shit and stand the same way, and period, they did it. They programmed you to talk like that. <clears throat> you know, somebody did. <laughs> you know, so, you know. But yeah, I was talking about all type of shit, Trump, whatever with them. Oh, nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that. You know, it, but, but under that administration where they say Trump, it is first time some money to fell out the sky, you know. And they talking about doing some business plans and shit like that. Yo, you know, Cube and them Cube and caught that wave, or they had to put Cube out here. But but if Trump get elected and people believe, you know. We'll have it on the carnal shit again, whatever, on the regular level. If he get elected and, and, um, and, and he get elected, people don't just start saying like, well, you know, it's because of Ice Cube or black people. Yeah, yeah whatever. Because we supposed to only be 13% of the population anyway. <laughs> so how, you know, it's the, the whole... Vote and shit, this whole shit, these whole last months, COVID and everything, been directed toward niggas. Toward what the so-called African-American community, I'm not going to never even say that again, so whatever, man. But do you know who I'm talking about? Us. It's been directed toward us. It's been like fucking National Black History Year. That's all on goddamn commercials. Once I finally turn on the TV, I'm, I'm talking about it's been some Emmett Till, Martin Luther King type shit on TV, man. Uh, I had a dream to everything. The McDonald's commercials, some <laughs> like some Black History Month. It's been Black History Year and all that fake egg, man. Dick is like, dog. <laughs> It's been Black History sick, COVID. What everybody they talking about COVID and all that it's gonna kill you, man. COVID gonna kill you if you if you got dairy in your system and shit like that. Like if you got a lot of phlegm and, and shit like that in your system, that's how COVID gonna kill you because they gonna tell you you got it. If you go in there coughing or a little sick, cause they coming up, they ramping up all type of fake shit, man. The news just. Lying by the seconds. <laughs> they wrap it up. Just like on the news when the remember the sun? The sun was orange for them few for that week. Yeah, that was cause of the most half feast days of that week. It said blowing up the trumpets. That's why the sun was orange. Get sent us a sign through the sky. Man, you you know on the news they said because of the California forest fires, the sun is orange. <laughs> They all just they just come up with last by the seconds, dog. Cause the California <laughs> Oh man. So the California ain't burning right now and the sun ain't the regular color no more, man. <laughs> they they just marking up every second. 
COVID. They got a little station around there on 12 talking about the COVID vac uh, the the COVID testing center. They done put poles and shit all up on 12th and Euclid. You can't even drive around through the shit no more like we used to. I I probably learned how to drive in that parking lot. You know, we ride our bikes all now they got all them poles up there talking about the COVID testing center. Ain't nobody up there getting tested, bro. That motherfucker empty. It's police sitting around there. Ain't nobody up there getting tested, but they steady ramping up numbers every day. This is, oh, it's um, 10,000 people today. 17 deaths. All that did that. Man, where are these people dying at, man? And they coming up with phase two. Here you come. They come up with a new phase and all that shit. And they using this politics. Everything been so political with our people. They just target us with all this political shit and all that. Yeah, they about to ramp up part two on you. <laughs> COVID two and all that. But that's all it is, man. You got some your kids eating, you know, candy and all just wrong candies and a lot of shit. We gotta put some vegetables in our life, you know what I mean? And you can learn shit just like um I was listening to Crump Snatcher. He had a good video. You know, I don't wanna agree to Crump Snatcher like that. But he you know, he had say some shit. He had a me and him got two totally different ideologies, but he got we both got same different points, you know, because we both supposed to be on some woke shit. But then they had a video. He was talking about COVID too. He like shit. That shit for you niggas eat McDonald's. Just like I I've been saying it for months since it came out. Been saying it for years. Me like yeah. If y'all eating that shit, this COVID for you. You niggas on you know that diabetic man. Y'all want to do that? Y'all ain't trying to eat green. Ain't trying to work out nothing to do nothing. For you. This for you, son. And that was all cool. Then this nigga, he going to say, and I'm not listening to no fat people. If you fat, how can I listen to you? You you um, you um, such and such talking about fat vegans and all this, 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 man. I don't know who he talking about, you know, but, but you can learn from anybody. And just because of a person body mass, because, you know, I was a, I was a fool zombie. A lot of people is, but certain people be certain built certain kind of ways, so you might be fat. But I could tell a nigga a whole lot of shit. Like I ain't even no vegan, but I could tell you shit to help you clean your system, you know, and shit like that. That nigga talking about he won't listen, man. You know how many skinny people I know, Dad diabetes and, and, and high blood pressure and heart attacks. Nigga be little as hell, skinny ain't man. Size and health don't go together. Now, your body would. Now, if you just steady growing fat and getting fat. Now, I'm not that. I'm shrinking, you know what I mean? But still, I'm still fat because I'm a big guy. Been like that. You know what I mean? Shit, it's going to be like that. But nigga learn a lot from a person. Crump Snatcher was off with that. You know what I mean? I could go in him. I can call him Crump Snatcher and do all that. I ain't going to even do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Cause man, he, you know, he, he do look funny to me. Like you got a little sugar in this thing, ha 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 But yeah, like some niggas, like some people is you can't listen to people. Some people be the niggas be drinking sea moss and eating chitlins. <laughs> I ain't goddamn day. Ha ha ha! I ain't one of them niggas. I ain't one of them fat niggas, man. I really stick to the code, man. I fast and all type of shit, you know, but I still eat, you know, eat my food. I eat clean food. I eat a lot of it, you know what I mean? But I ain't getting fat and shit. But sometimes people body mass be different, but body size and health ain't got nothing to do with it. I know a whole bunch of unhealthy, skinny niggas. These niggas just holding on. <laughs> I know fit niggas that was fit, like... Lifting weights and cock diesel when them niggas went eating right and they dry had heart attacks. Boom. Up out of there, nigga. Shit. So we'll never get it twisted, man. <laughs> well, you gotta stay true to what you do though, man. Shit, practice what you preach. For real. Don't be no zombie out here, man. I'm gonna make another little video, man. I'm gonna stop this one, man. Next one will probably be more clear. I might write down some points and so I could talk clear to people, man. You know. But you know. I probably may have some little music on here. I'll probably roll up some weed talk. <laughs> but, 
I just it was just on my mind talking about Cube and uh, <laughs> Cube. We be clubbing. Well, I like the Cube. Cube, he, a couple of movies and shit. I ain't never seen Cube on too much subliminal shit, but he was on some subliminal shit like all that when they came out in WA. Them niggas planted that shit because you know all that dope man, dope man, all that shit. And yeah, you don't know nothing about all that because it wasn't even like that at the time he made that song. All that shit. <laughs> Everybody, I didn't like Q and shit back then. Uh, it was, it was straight. Well, I liked it. Um, West Side Connection. Uh, I don't know. And it was still like the goofy Southern Cali music. <laughs> the little beats, the but bow down and all. I liked it that one. I liked it that. I ain't purple that cute. I liked it that one. Bow down. And he had some. He had some songs in and out, but he wasn't never my favorite like that man. Like I ain't going to cop no Cube album, man. <laughs> you know, Southern Cali and Northern Cali different. <laughs> you know, Northern Cali ain't more like on our vibe because we straight across from each other. That's a pipeline. Things been taken for years. I mean, we've been, you know, 40 and them niggas. They always been up here too short. All them niggas probably got kids up here. Fuck with them niggas. My man, my right hand man is in. Be with be legit and niggas slapping hands and everything, man, and kicking it all type of shit. Be legit, know who I am, cause when he was kicking it with my homeboy, all right, H Big Kev, out there in the bay, nigga. <clears throat> they was hanging for months, nigga. And be legit was talking about some clean shit and was on some shit talking about the Most High, and my man Kev like, nigga, well, that's my man flight all day, nigga flight, flight on that, like nigga, he tell you how to eat, how to bathe. What to use on your body, all type of shit. And yeah, shit, be legit, part, you know, you know, that's how, you know, we close it is with Northern Cali. So, uh, I'm just talking about Q, that nigga, Q say, nigga, we going with Trump. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to see what happened. You know, they going to let some more cash out the sky, what's going to go on or something, you know. Uh, but really, we trying to restore the land. Shit, fuck all that cash. We make our own cash system. Give us our land back. Go ahead, give me my great 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 granddaddy. You know, or give us all our shit back to everybody up here. Yeah, now we name ourselves. What is we? We start our own tribe. Shout out to Sister Bethy. She started her own tribe on some boss queen shit. I don't like all that queen word, all that. But I'm just talking carnal. Yeah, Sister Beth, but on some real shit, Sister Bethy. Love her. Ain't boots on the ground. She do the Indian shit uh, out there, but she knows. She, you know, she got her own tribe, man. Guess who she got in it? Niggas. That's how I come. I'm going to talk about Curry Mayo and all that. Them niggas trying to disrespect. I've been on that nigga head, Carimio, Camario. Man, I've been on that nigga head. I've been peeped his ass one shit. You know? I ain't trying to, you know, talk with Sister Bethy, talk saying extra words and all that. Man, you get fired on, man. <laughs> Playing with them, man. And nigga, root word. Root word, man. You was a fucking weirdo. A fucking clown, dog. Nigga, I seen that motherfucking video. You made a video about Tazinus and see root word. You funny, too. And, 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 and Tazinus, you used to call that nigga some shit like that. You in a in a, in a somewhere area in Ohio, good lame ass Ohio. You know, I well, oh, high prank man. I don't know, but this is some goofy shit. Does nigga up in the deep nigga? That's the land we go, nigga. Sell a, a nickel rock for a thousand dollars, nigga. Ohio, nigga. You you in Ohio? You standing around some niggas at a park or something? You bossing? You acting like you really in the hood? That nigga an agent, man. Root nerd. Nigga, you standing around some niggas, some young nigga. You talking? They talking. You done heard overheard that conversation. You got the phone. You you talking about? Oh yeah, uh, I was trapping last night, and I, I heard it was wild out here. What was going on, man? Them little niggas. You can hear them in the background, like <laughs> what? <laughs> the hell, this nigga. You know they they laughing goofy, and you looking goofy as hell. Like you can see in your face. You gonna walk off, start talking some shit. Like nigga, who was you standing around the hood like you from some hood? I'm trapping. I'm out here trapping and trying to get mad, root nerd. You's a fucking goofball, nigga. You talking about Empress Holbert and talking all that crazy shit out your mouth, nigga. 
I see you out. Beat your hoe ass, nigga. You a bum, nigga. Y'all niggas, man, them YouTubers, dog, be killing me, dog. Come with the information, nigga. Y'all niggas on here be trying disrespecting these women. They be on there telling real shit. You know what I mean? I like Empress Hover. I like Sister Bethy. Y'all disrespect them, nigga. Dumbass niggas. Mm. I'm going to come with a video talking about Curry Mayo, Root Nerd. I might even talk about Cum Snatcher. Ha <laughs> I would. Yeah, but for real, you know, it ain't about spoils and no niggas or nothing like that. It's just, you know, I watch our video and you be saying shit I could call people niggas be agents, man. Well, I'm in this one here, man. Peace. One, one love. Shalom.